Hello, hello. Let's talk about some favorites and some not so favorites. It happens, you know. I do like to give things a fair shot. I won't just do it one time and hate it, although that does happen, but these products in particular, I really tried and it just didn't work out. So we're going to talk about all that. And of course, I'm going to share the things I have been reaching for and loving. Shall we? So I have been sharing nail content with you and thank you guys so much for, you know, watching that and enjoying it and um, being a part of that with me. That's a new little series I've been dabbling in, Nails at Home with Mo. is kind of the way of, you know, what I've been calling it. But current sets, I always have two different sets on my nails. And even before I did nail content, I always wore two different colored nail polishes, um, unless I got my nails done. Um, but I want to share with you, so here's my current set. I did share this on my TikTok. I did like the whole nail tutorial on there. These are from BTR Box. I bought these. Um, this is a brand I've purchased from for a really long time. <laughs> they did reach out to me and they did send me some stuff. But before that, I was already, you know, I was already into them. So I was just really excited to share. Um, but this is my current set on this hand. And then here is my older set. And as you can see, we've got quite a bit of growth. So with that said, and the reason I shared that with you is because I have been loving my appraise Karomi set. Oh, look at the packaging. I cannot. So cute, right? So in this set, you get everything, literally everything. They did have a Hello Kitty variation. Um, but I opted for the Karomi. <laughs> Not to say I don't love Hello Kitty. Okay. But in this set, you get nail file, nail buff. You get all. This is a great beginner friendly introduction to the brand. Get everything you need. You get dehydrator, prep, um, base coat, and you can use this as your nail glue. You get French um, gel and then a top coat that's like glittery. I do have it on. It's, it's a subtle glitter. It's so cute. Okay. And then you get this nail lamp right here that you can use in the hand and do your flash care. You'll see in the dedicated video, but you know, more details, but oh, I love this set so much. So you remove this top piece and down there you get more, but these are the tips that I'm wearing on this hand. Um, these are the natural almond medium length. These are really, really nice quality, very, very easy to apply and work with. So here you see you have these little lines and that helps you decide where you want to put your French. But if you don't want to use the lines, you can go over with a couple of coats of your top coat and it'll help them fade away or you can buff them out if you don't want them there. At first I was like, oh, I don't know. It's not going to be the greatest idea, <laughs> but it actually worked out really well. Really, really enjoy the quality of these. And this is something that's going to last you this whole set. So, and it's, I've been using the case and just everything. It's nice because you can just grab this, go sit down and do your nails. So again, I'll have the video for this very, very soon, but I really have been enjoying this. And this is my third or second set that I've done with this kit. So we recently had concealer week on the channel. Thank you again so much for being a part of that. But during that, I did not try any new skincare. I said, I'm going to just stick to my go-to, which is my Augustine spot or the rich cream. That's my forever go-to for years at this point. Oh my goodness. Um, but I did have a brand reach out to me and send me a new product of theirs that I got to try for a couple of weeks before it launched. It's really good. I've really been liking it and I've been reaching for it. Of course, I still reach for my, uh, rich cream. That's not going anywhere. I'm always going to go back to that because of the results I see and just how much my skin really loves it. My skin has been loving this so much. Again, it's a newer product from the brand, but they sent it to me before launch. So I got some uh, time to really dabble in and to put it to work. Let's just say I did morning and night. I did it with other serums and I've done it alone. I've done it with makeup, without makeup. And I love the performance. I love the texture and consistency. With skincare, I'm going to speak for myself. I don't like to use a product for a day or one time and say, here, you need it. It's amazing. I like to give it at least two to three weeks minimum before I come and have anything to say. Um, 
So I'm glad that I've done that and some so that I have some thoughts to share with you on my experiences. Packaging is really, really nice too. It's a product that you pump so it stays nice and clean. So this is a barrier cream. So this is something that's going to help repair, nourish, and focuses in on the skin's barrier. It's also extremely hydrating. And I mean, in a way that you want, in a way that your skin needs. In this product, there's something called the Vegan Bio Placenta Peptides. And what that does is it supports your collagen production and relieves dryness in as little as 24 hours. I've really been enjoying this and I've noticed how hydrated and healthy and just calm my skin looks and feels. Full disclosure, I this wasn't on my radar. If they didn't reach out to me and say, hey Mo, would you like to try this? I probably wouldn't. So I'm grateful that I had that opportunity and this is a definitely a brand I see myself dabbling into a little bit more. <laughs> if you've tried this brand, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. So, while that sits on the face for a few, let's talk about a hair care product that I've been lo lo loving. I don't know what that was. I just it made me excited. Nice on. I did share this in a dedicated video, trying it out with you for the first time. This is the Dyson Kytosan. I think that's how you say it. I hope that's how you say it, because that's how I've been saying it. <laughs> This is the pre and post style serum and cream. I've been using the same hair care stuff for years. I haven't wavered. So first of all, for me to try something new was a big deal. <laughs> and I felt like I would really notice if there was a difference. Like you can tell when you use something on your hair if it's gonna work for you or not. These are refillable, love that. So this is this, and then here's a refill, okay? Love that concept, I think it's great. And it's easy to Pop in, pop out. It's no fuss kind of gig, so like that. That's a plus. You know, sometimes with hair products, they're like, oh, put a dime size, put a nickel size, put a quarter size. With this, you know, okay, I'm gonna do two pumps of it, and it, so far, so far, obviously when it's brand new, you gotta pump it a couple times for it to come up, um, but you know, okay, I'm gonna need two pumps, I'm gonna need one pump, I'm gonna need half a pump. I get the exact amount I need with that. So I like that um, with the packaging and the design. I feel like it was thought out. It wasn't just boom, here's a product. It's Dyson, you need it. No. This product I found that when I applied it and went ahead and blow dried and did my flat iron, I noticed my hair was very fluffy and light and shiny and felt really great. I really enjoyed that. And then they smell really good too. We love that. That's always a plus. But it's not a fragrance kind of smell. It's just a clean, you took care of yourself kind of smell. I do feel that this addition to my routine helps extend my hair life. And what I mean by that is usually I try to do my hair once a week. But again, I do sometimes go a little more than that. It happens. So with this product, I can extend my hair and it'll look like this all the way till 10, 11, 12 days. Of course, around day like 11, 12, it's not as, you know, but I can get away with it and I can pull it off. I feel like this month I really found and enjoyed some good, solid primers. I'm sure a few won't be any surprise to you because I did allude to them. What's up, beauty? You guys know I've been enjoying this brand quite a bit. So they did send over their new Positivity Primer. This one is moisturizing, very, very lightweight. It's clean, it's nice ingredients, you know, none of the bad stuff. And then it gives a little bit of tack. Really a simple kind of product, but I like the way it looks and feels and I like the way my makeup wears with it. Very texture and consistency as I yap. So it gives hydration and it's nice and lightweight. This is a product that you can use all on its own if you want to. You don't have to go over top with makeup. Sometimes I go in with my primers and I just wear primer and powder. <laughs> but this, it's so light. Feels like nothing on the skin. And then once it dries down, cause you gotta give it a minute, okay? With everything that you put on, when you're putting all these layers, make sure you give them time in between. I'm not saying you gotta sit there for 10 minutes, but you get it. So once it sits and dries down, you get just the right amount of tack. 
all while being lightweight and all while giving you hydration. I'm gonna go in with my three zones on the face. So this one I'm gonna put on my forehead. I'm gonna go in on the forehead and just apply. You see how easy it blends into the skin? It's definitely one of those no fuss, easy kind of vibes. I love it. I need that every day. <laughs> And that's truly why I've been reaching for it so much. It's just easy, it's light, it's comfortable, it gives me what I'm looking for. And again, I can go in with makeup on top, or I can just dust a little bit of powder, however I'm feeling that day. See that forehead? That forehead is hydrated and comfortable. Oh yes. And again, my forehead is the driest <laughs> area, so I really like how comfortable my forehead feels when I apply this, so... Again, the What's Up Beauty positivity. So as I let the What's Up Beauty primer sit on the forehead and dry down, let's talk about this one from Huda. So Huda Beauty recently came out with this primer and the matching foundation. I did, again, share this on my TikTok because I didn't do a dedicated video here on the channel, but I've been reaching for this primer ever since. Wow. There was another primer that Huda Beauty came out with a little while ago, and I do remember loving it and sharing it and using it all up, all up. This is the newest primer from Huda. It's the Easy Blur Primer, and it's exactly as it sounds. Lightweight, fuss-free, easy blurring primer. Nothing over the top, nothing crazy. It's silicone-free. It's pink, but it's not like an obnoxious, like scary kind of pink. It's that soft, pretty pink. I'm going to go on this side of the face. Just love how it feels. It feels so nice and it just glides. All of the foundations that I have tried with these primers all have worked really well. And that's a big thing because nobody wants a primer that's not gonna work with what they're already using in their life. You know what I mean? See? Easy. Nice. Love it. <laughs> I think we all already know how I feel about this primer. <laughs> I love it. Yay. This is the Prada Refine Primer. This is a blurring and extending makeup primer. And yes, 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 yes. It does all of that. I must mention to you that there is a sunburn warning on this product. And this is something I made sure to keep in mind as a Floridian who's always in the sun, even when I don't wanna be. <laughs> this product contains an AHA, so it's going to make you a little bit more sensitive to the sun and burn easier. So just keep that in mind. But you know this already, you're supposed to always be wearing your sunscreen. This, it's gel-like texture and consistency, and it's that green color that matches the whole Prada vibe. <laughs> it's so good. So we're going to put this on this side. You know, with primer, sometimes you don't really see a difference when you put them on. Like, yeah, you'll feel it. But I feel with the Prada, you can see the difference the most out of all the primers. I love this way too much. I really, really do. I feel like it's creeping up to my baby, my forever baby. <laughs> So the product goes on really nicely, smooths everything out. Look at the skin. And I mean instantly, smooths you out and your skin just feels so good. I feel like my skin just looks really good, just like this. That's why I'm saying sometimes I just use primers and dust some powder and I'm gone. <laughs> that's it. And then sometimes that's all I have time for, so that's okay too. <laughs> so Merit recently came out with the Great Skin Priming Moisturizer. This is a product you can use as skincare, but it doubles as a makeup primer because this is gonna hydrate and also prime your skin for makeup. This is a product you can use all on its own, again, like skincare, or you can dust a little bit of powder and go. Or of course, you can go in with a full face. I've gone in with super light, minimal makeup, like that no makeup makeup. Looks amazing, wears great, extends the makeup to look like that all day. Nice and easy, we love that. But then I've also used this and full on, full glammed it, and ooh wee, it looks even better than I thought because you know what, when you go in with a lot more makeup, sometimes you run the risk of looking like you're wearing a lot more makeup. But again, when you prep the skin, you prepare it for the best. 
texture and consistency on the moisturizing primer. Oh, there we go. Hello. This is what it looks like. Very lightweight, blends very easy. Skin looks good, skin feels good. I recently got a candle. There she is. A brand I hadn't known about. They reached out and I was like, oh, okay, cool, a candle. I try plenty of candles. Diptyque, Tom Ford, Nest, some that you get at home goods, you name it. Candles. Cool. I love a candle that smells good. Okay, but there's something about this candle. Oh, wow. This is a special. I, very impressed. Very impressed. Original packaging, outstanding. If you have a candle lover in your life, this makes a great gift. So, again, I told you, I have used the high end candles all the way to the ones you get at the discount stores and Target and all of that. Those candles, they smell the room, smells great. Some of them not so much, some of them, eh, okay, you know. This candle smells my whole room and some. My daughter was in the other room and my door's closed and she had to come in here and interrupt me. She was like, mom, what is that smell? She couldn't, she couldn't figure out what it was. Cause I have, you know, reed diffusers in the house. I have those automatic sprayers in the house. She was, I guess she's already immune to those. And this was a new scent to her. And she, she was, she followed the trail and she found out that it was coming from in here. And she was like, mother, what is that? Wow. She wants one. We went on the site. She did her own little thing over there. But let me tell you, I am so happy that I got this candle. I could sit here and on and on and on about it for an hour. It's not going to be the same until you personally experience it. I like their variety. Um, Really nice products. I think they also have laundry detergent. Like, what? Oh, my goodness. Loving it. I'm just loving it. Plain and simple. <laughs> Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. I really enjoy the blushes, the highlighters. I even have this one from last year. He recently came out with the Barbie collab that I think is a little similar to this. That's why I didn't get it. But I really like Patrick Ta. I tried this so many different ways. Different primers different powders, different application, less application, everything you can imagine. Because I bought this with my money. I want to get my money's worth out of it. And I hate doing returns. Like, I don't know. It's not that big a deal. I know that. Here's my gig with this. This is said to be something that's hydrating enough that you don't need to go on with primer or skincare. Meaning you can wash your face and put this on and you're good. Now, while as it is hydrating, and moisturizing and luminous. Beautiful. I actually like the luminosity. Sometimes I find luminizing foundations to be too much. This is, I don't think this is too much. I think it's luminous. It's luminous. It says it's luminous. It doesn't wear good. It does not wear good on me. Oh, wow. I don't know what it is. Every time I wore it, right in this area, it would get so heavy and separate -y and look like absolute I don't want to say that word because that's not nice it just looked really bad I'd have to wear this for just a very short period of time this is like a product that I could get away with two to three hours of wear without it starting to look really bad at this point I'm throwing in the towel it's not for me <laughs> and that's okay happy things happy thoughts here is an eyeshadow palette I have been loving. It's from What's Up Beauty. It's the Geodes. Now I did share with you the other one that I have been, I still reach for this. This is the Dragon's Eye eyeshadow palette. Look at these colors. I've shared wearable looks with this palette because I know when you look at it, you're like, oh my goodness, Monique, whoa. So I'm not that type of girl. <laughs> I have shared with you that you can wear soft bits of color and still feel like you're wearing an everyday eye look. I find I'm able to create the everyday looks and you wouldn't even think that I use the palette and I like that. The What's Up Beauty palettes are made in Italy. So their quality is outstanding. Oh, I'm gonna swatch the special shades and then I'll swatch the mattes, but I know. <laughs> I know you probably know me as, hey, Mo, you can just do those soft and pretty easy everyday looks. But listen, we need a little fun, too. And look at that. 
right look. And again, with colors like this, you can go with a fluffy brush. Highly recommend doing it before you do your face makeup, of course, because it's going to give you a little bit of fallout. But you go in a soft, fluffy brush and dust one of these colors. You're going to get color, but it's going to be like that soft little bit of something on the eyes. And I love that. Let me swatch the rest of them for you. Look at this. <gasps> Hello? Hello? So gorgeous. And the mattes are creamy and pigmented. But of course, use a different brush for a little bit softer of an application. I got one more. Let me just get in there. This is the darkest one. Look at that. Look how rich. Oh, so creamy. See that? So pretty. Look at this palette. Are you kidding me? Oh. Hello? I more than likely am going to create a look with that palette, but I want to show you the other palette that I have been reaching for like so way too much. It's from Tom Ford. It is the Rose Veil. So pretty. Oh my goodness. To me, this is a perfect color story. It's not overwhelming. It's not too much. I have day looks, night looks, whatever mood looks. And yes, it's a big difference from the one I just showed you, but you want that in your rotation. Creamy, pigmented, beautiful, soft, gorgeous, every day. Very easy color story, very mindful. <laughs> I do have a dedicated video to this palette and I also use this palette all of Concealer Week, every single day. Love it. I'm gonna go in with my Dominique Cosmetics eye primer. A lot of times I just use my concealer as my eyeshadow base, but but I, you know, I use eye bases too, like official eye bases. <laughs> my husband, he's the best. <laughs> he, uh, he's like, you wanna go get a coffee? Um, so well, I'll be right back, I'm gonna go get coffee. <laughs> coffee has been acquired. Let's create an eye look with this Geodes palette. You look at the palette and you say to yourself, oh my goodness, it's gonna be too bold. It's gonna be too much. Here's a nice, easy look. It still gives, okay, because we are giving, <laughs> but it's not over the top to where it's not as wearable as you may like. And again, we went in with a fluffier brush, not that one, the R103 from What's Up Beauty, and it deposits the color nicely. Okay, gives you that shift. But still soft and pretty. Love it. These are from Tom Ford. These are the gel eyeliners. These have amazing staying power, especially in the waterline. I've shared multiple videos where you saw me wear these all day and they did not budge in the waterline. They don't budge on the lash line. I love going in with this one, cream, in the waterline to brighten up the eyes. I've also done a little on the inner corner and just kind of fluffed it out with a brush to soften it. Wears really well like that also. And then this one, look how creamy. Love these two colors. There's one more. This one in particular is cocoa. It's the brown, really dark, rich brown. The other shade is in black. I haven't gotten that one yet. I plan on it, but I still love my Chantecaille. This is the eye cajol. This is great, look how small it is, <laughs> I love that. But since I've gotten these, I haven't really reached for that. I used to love it, it's great, but this definitely is the one I've been reaching for. So I'm just gonna do a little something super close on the lash line, do a soft little baby wing. 
nice and easy. Nothing fussy. And I'm going to go in with this in the waterline as well. Mascara. It's the same old, same old with mascara. And I am actually going to be doing a dedicated luxury mascara video. So I'm going to just quickly skip over mascara. But I am using a brown The one. foundation products that I have had in heavy rotation have been these two. The La Prairie and the Dior. This is so good. incredible. Wow. I still feel how I feel about the shade range. I feel like there's a ton of neutral, but where are the warms? I've seen there are warm undertones, but there's like two right now. Hopefully they adjust that. So I have the shade 4N. It works. I'll make it work because it's so thin and lightweight and wears so beautifully, but I would prefer a 4W or a 4WO. I have waited so many years for this, so I am enjoying this so much. This is the La Prairie Skin Caviar Foundation. I have it in the shade NW60, which is the one right after what used to be the darkest, and there's even darker now, so eee! Again, I hope that they bring back... I only keep this for talking about its sake, the concealer, the dedicated concealer, because the concealer on that is not concealer. I feel like that is for like spot correcting on the face and then going over top with the foundation and that's fine. But as concealer, I'm not a fan. One of the most beautiful foundations. I am putting this up there with my Le Mer foundation and my Chantecaille and my Tom Ford. This is like top five. In, yes just yes for the coverage i think it's so gorgeous again it's just the color that i find to be an issue but it works because it is quite forgiving as far as like color because look at it right now you're probably like monique what are you doing i know i ask my that myself that all the time this is a foundation that is like undetectable you can't even tell you're wearing it it feels like nothing it, she looks glorious on your skin dior makes gorgeous beautiful outstanding complexion products so the thing about this is i really just put it where i need it and then i let the rest of my skin just be skin i also find it to wear so much better like that too so i did go in with one application and i'm just building it up now Blend it with your fingers too, it looks so good. It just looks like skin. That's what I love about it most. We've touched on concealer quite a bit. So the ones I've been reaching for most are my Westman Atelier concealers, which beautiful coverage, you don't have to set them. Feels so nice on the skin. Airy, nice coverage concealer. I love it. So I had to mention them because they're amazing and highly recommend them. The Augustinus Botter and Victoria Beckham concealer pen blew my mind. This is so good. So I have, what shade do I have again? I have the shade M2. Here's what it looks like. Again, I have a full dedicated video wear test, all the details, all the things. It's a click pen. This wears so well like all day, blends beautifully with a finger, brush, sponge. We we did all that in the video. It's gorgeous on its own, as even on the face as the base. It It's just one of the best. So I go in with a couple of clicks, put it where I need it, which is right here is my darkest area. And I just leave it there for a few. And it's so light, it literally feels like skincare. But I also really like this concealer. But because of the SPF in it, because this has an SPF of 50, it's from CL. It's a little drying. So what I do is I actually go in with just a dot, just a touch, because I like them together. There's just something about the way that these wear together that I really enjoy. And this color in particular adds a little color correcting to my skin tone because it's a quite orange undertone. So mixed with the Augustinus Botter, I find <sighs> so good. So I just let it sit for a moment, take a sip of cafecito, and then we'll blend it out. The CL gives a ton of coverage. To me, this is the perfect under eye. 
Like, I feel so good. I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything. And I don't, and it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything either. I really hope that they're working on complexion next. Come on. <laughs> Can we take a moment? I'm a mom. I never get sleep. <laughs> And yes, my children are older, but do you think that changes anything? No, I feel like the older your kids get, the more you worry about them. This contour stylus from Victoria Beckham. I don't have a lot of product from this brand, so it's nice that I'm kind of dabbling in. And I love that this is so small. So a couple of different ways I like to use it, and it's super creamy. This is a brush from Merit, so I will just pick up product off of the back of my hand and then go ahead like this. I find this way to be the most natural and super easy, super soft. I'm going to build up on the side that we applied this method and it does that nicely. Also, you can totally go direct on the skin and she blends in very nicely as well. Whatever's left on the brush I put on this forehead of mine. So I've brought warmth back to the face, but it's not over the top. I feel it to be super soft and very easy and wearable. And I love the convenience of the size, the creaminess of the formula. This is really beautiful. I definitely see myself <laughs> dabbling more into Victoria Beckham. I have gotten some great recommendations from you guys too. So thank you so much. Unfortunately, I do have a product that I Mm, didn't love so much from Victoria Beckham. Um, the color I was good with, but it was a little dry. I found it to be dry. And I got a great recommendation that I can't wait to try. Posh lipstick. This one in particular is the shade Spice. I love the package. Look at this packaging. Hello? Okay, gorgeous. I love this. Okay, and when I swatched, I was like, oh, okay, it's creamy. It's going to be, if you look at the lipstick, it looks like it would be, like, hydrating, right? This was drying on me, and I did not like it, and I was very sad. <laughs> but I got a great alternative recommendation, so it's okay. It's okay. I recently shared with you the Westman Atelier Holiday set, the Fet. Fet. Petite Fet. This little set comes with the mascara, blush, and highlight. So for blush, we're going to be going in with bubble. Bubble, right? Yeah, bubble. Look at this color. It is a cool tone berry. Like, hello, and it's got a little bit of little bit of glow, a little bit of something. You know, it's, it's not just a regular blush. I, in a million years, would have never been drawn or gravitated to a color like this, but I said, you know what? I love... My other Westman Atelier blushes, I enjoy them. They wear well, they're gorgeous, they're easy, they look good, you know, all the things. So I was like, well, okay, let's go. <laughs> and I love this. I've been reaching for it ever since I got the set. And what I love about it most is you could just do this. You don't have to go in with highlighter just because of the finish. It's so glowy and so gorgeous. It's, and the color is so pretty. And here it is kind of blended out on the hand. When I did that video, I, I should have shared this because I had thought it like immediately, but this on top of bubble. Do you see that? It is an absolute must. So here's what I do. I go in and put it on the high point just for that extra glow and that touch of pink. And then whatever's left, just blend everybody together because why not? And I just, I cannot, I cannot, I just can't. So let's even everything out. Pop it off on the back of my hand because it is a little intense. Just personal preference, you know? Bubble from the Petite Fet collection mixed with Pot -a Peony. We need to dust a little bit of powder on this face <laughs> to set all of our creams and all of our things in place. Prada. 
This is the Prada Reset Rebalancing Setting Powder. It is so yuckers. There we go. A little more presentable, yeah? There we go. And hold on, you're ready. This even throws you off more. Look at the color. Excuse me, why is my powder green? <laughs> you would say, oh no, it's going to be green on my face, but no ma'am. So I'm going to take a big old fluffy brush. This one in particular is from Dior. Softens and blurs your skin and feels and looks like nothing. Doesn't look cakey. Doesn't look like powder. I did do a dedicated video to this. And I, since that, literally use it every single day. And what I love most is I can use this on just skin. After I do my skincare, I can just dust a little powder, put a little concealer. My <laughs> looks amazing. Look at that forehead. And remember, my forehead is the driest. Feels like nothing, and it's set. And although she's a green powder, my face is not casty or anything like that. And it does not look like I have powder on my face. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah your girl loves Tom Ford we have a whole entire series Tom Ford Tuesday <laughs> um but I don't like this I feel like I've been forcing myself to use it just to see if it's me if I need to try it with different products if I need to try it on bare skin if I need to just set with it Every method that I've tried with this, I'm not liking it. I find it to be heavy and I find it to look powdery on the skin. And I've tried, I've tried and tried and tried and tried. And it's just not working out for me. It's not working out for me. And for the price tag, no ma'am. So sorry, but as much as I love Tom Ford. <laughs> yeah, no. Holiday from Hourglass. This one is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. This is their darkest variation. Lotus Flower. Beautiful. I use every single powder. These look so gorgeous on the skin. Oh, wow. This powder, again, it's a little dark, so I would not recommend you go in heavy hand and then use it to like set your under eye and really pack it on the skin. No, it'll be a little dark and it won't look the greatest, but going in with fluffier brushes and just light layers, light dusting, it's going to do what the powder needs to do. Just really finish everything and blur you and smooth you and just mm, chef's kiss. I have been reaching for this palette as my like daily go-to easy kind of palette and oh, I just love it so much. I know I said I wasn't going to go in with bronzer, but we have to it's so pretty and i love that the powders they just seamlessly blend into the skin and they look so gorgeous like so pretty and since that video i've gotten so many comments of everyone saying that these work for darker skin tones and that makes me so happy because i based on this watch oh I was scared. I was scared. But the bronzer does build up. Absolutely beautiful. I am so happy with this palette. I'm so happy that I got it. And again, of my hourglass palettes for the face and stuff, this is the one that I am so, like, every single color gets, gets it. <laughs> my favorite, 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 favorite parts about favorites is I get to share lip products with you. I have a few. Still loving my Sicily Balm. I had to go get this out of my purse. Look how much of it I've used. I love it so much. These are refillable. We love that. Uh, shade 3 Crush. It's a balm. It's hydrating. It's gorgeous. You can build it up, but it's sheer. Mm -mm -mm. Especially for the days where I just didn't have time to do the most. A little touch of color on the lips just elevates things a bit. I recently finally, because this isn't brand new, but I finally gave it a try. <laughs> um, I can see this water lip balm. I love the original, but he came out with a tinted variation of it. And then look how much of this one I've used already. I'm out of control. I love my lip products. There's the color, but it's a balm, so it's not out of control. See, it's a very soft, tinty color, and that's it softly built up, but you can keep going. And look, you build it up just a bit more. Very hydrating, very comfortable on the lips. And I like the packaging. It's actually really pretty. It's got a little ring of pink down there. There's the Augustine's Butter logo. A little there, a little there, you know. 
all the things. This is a collab that Augustina's Butter did. So really, really, really like that. I have not been able to put these down. Love the packaging. I did lip swatches of these for you. And this is the color I've been reaching for the most. It's not like super presentable. It's like, ugh. I uh, really been putting her to work. They don't really swatch per se the greatest. It's more of like a little bit of color in the center and then a bomb around it. So you just get like that touch of color with hydration. This is the color I use the most. Let me just put it right here so I don't mispronounce it. And they actually did send these to me. I. I'm so grateful when brands send me products to try and I get to share with you and yeah, it's exciting, you know, um, and I'm even more excited when it's like amazing and then you guys get it and love it and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> oh, they also have a red. Oh, the way that this red, it's so pretty. Okay, look, you see, it's just color in the center and then balm on the side and it just gives that soft tint beautiful formula i really like these <laughs> let me know some of your favorites all the things you've been enjoying comment down below thanks so much for hanging out with me today and letting me share all of my favorites with you please take a moment and give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't stay beautiful guys i'll see you very soon we've got more of the collections and all the things coming up very very soon and of course, Dior holiday and all, all the other holiday goodies. Stay beautiful, guys. I feel like I keep going. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.